Hi everyone, my name is Brad, vlogging to the name Investing Doc. Welcome back. In today's vlog, I'd like to talk a little bit about automation and how it can help simplify your life. So follow along with me. Some of y'all may be familiar with the book, The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. The gist of Tim's book is all about automation and delegation. What can you basically put a task onto someone else who you could potentially pay less money than what it would cost you in work hours or production lost, opportunity cost that is? Or what can you just automate and get out of your life completely and just get it done without having any human intervention? Any medical practice or your life could benefit immensely from automation. And I think as we switch from one medical record to another, that was the big precipitating event that our previous EMR and billing platform just couldn't automate with us. So let's dig a little bit deeper as to what exactly you can automate and look for in your day-to-day -day life, or if you own a practice, what you should be automating. The very first thing that anyone should automate in your practice is you should have a website and it should have the ability to book appointments online. If you don't have that, you're behind the curve for most practices nowadays. Everything has ability to book online. Even when I booked a plumber recently, I could go online, see their schedule, book an appointment, and they seamlessly came out to me. Same thing for prescriptions. I recently got a prescription, went online, got a mail delivery pharmacy. They deliver it same day. It's actually free of charge. It's called Capsule. If you're in one of the cities where they take it, take a look at it. It's pretty neat. But everything is automated with a scheduling system so that someone doesn't have to call in and figure out what time works for them. You don't have to go back and forth to figure out, oh, it's 4.30 on Tuesday work or what about 2.30 on Monday? You need a way for people to book online. The second automation key to anyone's practice is insurance authorizations. Insurance authorizations take a lot of time. And in our old medical record, we had to log on to this website called Availity, where you can go on and you can look at a lot of the insurance plans to see what's on there. You can type in their subscriber name, date of birth, their subscriber plan number, and you can see if they have active insurance and how much money they actually owe for that visit. Our old medical record could not integrate that to the point where you couldn't click a button and see exactly what their copay was. Our new medical record, you can type in their insurance or the patient that's scheduling the appointment can type in their insurance. It automatically runs their authorization and within 20 seconds or less tells you if it's in valid insurance and you can click another button to see exactly what the copay is gonna be for that visit for the day. I used to pay a staff member $20 an hour and it would take her probably three hours the day before to run all of these insurance authorizations. And with our new EMR, 100% automated, we don't have to worry about that at all anymore. Along with that, our billing platform is completely automated. Someone comes in, they pay a copay, goes direct, directly into the medical record and the billing platform, gets applied to their bill, the bill gets sent out to an insurance company, that automatically comes right back in. Yes, you have a human that double checks things, clicks yes or no. All of that goes directly into their portal, which can be seen online as an itemized bill. Our previous medical record couldn't do any of this. So now we have a system where someone comes in, pays $30 for a copay, goes straight online. You can go into the portal and see that $30 payment right there for that visit. And then whenever the insurance payment comes in, they can see that when it applies to their, their overall payment. If there's anything left over, every 30 days it sends out a statement. And then if it gets to... 60 days, then it sends out a warning, you have 30 more days, and then you're about to get to collections. It also pings my biller to actually call the patient and reach out to them because we get a text and an email for their bill right now. And again, all of that is automated. Employee payroll, we pay $3 a month for something called the on the clock. Uh, it integrates directly with our QuickBooks accounting software. So it's $3 a month per employee, which is as cheap as can be. We can set a geographic tag around 500 feet around the building and no one can log in or log out and check in and check out until they're within that geographic tag. We could also make it so that there's an actual like iPad punch in clock. It's all automated. When they punch in, punch out, I basically double check the hours. It takes maybe 10 minutes every other week now to double check the hours, hit a button, send to QuickBooks, sends it to QuickBooks, and then I hit submit payroll. It's that easy to automate it and you really should be looking at automating anything you can in your practice. Data entry, the bane of any practice existence. 
What I mean by data entry is when a patient fills out a form, a lot of times those forms go in PDF and you have to copy and paste it and there's manual like transferring of that data entry into the chart. Our new medical record has the ability to hand the patient a iPad at check-in. They can type in all their demographic information, past medical, surgical, update anything, goes directly into the chart, and we don't have to pay anything extra for that, which is pretty nice. So all of that's completely automated. There's an electronic copy. It's time-stamped. They can timestamp exactly when they signed a HIPAA consent release, so we know exactly they got it and they looked at it. Um, and now we don't have to actually print it out. We save the paper. We don't have to scan it back in. We don't have to attach that into the chart. It automatically goes directly into the chart with no human intervention. Super nice. The next one is reputation management. If you ever wonder why some clinics have a ton of five-star reviews, it's because they have some sort of reputation management system. If you don't have one, you really should get one. Basically, after a patient leaves, it shoots them a text message or an email saying, how was your visit today? If it gives a good review, then it pushes them to Google or Yelp or wherever you want to to leave a good review. If they give a bad review, it's still important, but it usually does that internally to push it internally and say, hey, how could we have done better today? Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, reviews online matter, especially Google reviews, and you need to be managing your reputation online. So you need to be sending out some sort of reputation management. Our new medical record does that automatically, free included, but there's some that I'll link below that you can do for as low as $100 a month. The last one that I'd like to touch on is second touches or phone calls. And what I mean by second touches or phone calls is if someone calls a clinic, there's no answer. The second touch is basically someone sending a text message or an automated text message saying, sorry, we missed you. This is how you could get to us. We're still working on integrating this in our system, but you could do it through Google Voice actually quite easily, but we don't use Google Voice. If someone calls in and we miss their phone call, let's say they push two to talk to the nurse. We're gonna have it send a text message saying, sorry, we missed dude. Did you know we had a patient portal? You can request refills. You can do X, Y, and Z there and try to push people online so that they don't feel like they're not being heard, especially with the ebbs and flows. I mean, some days we're getting a brand new call every 36 seconds, which is insane to manage that kind of call volume, but we're doing it. So that's part of the automation process in our practice. A little bit short, but I wanted to at least go through it. There's going to be more information on my blog, which I'll post below. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Consider subscribing, following along.